saying words with as the as, as God they say, so don't pray like the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Don't do it to be seen. But if you have a sincere heart and open heart to the heart and the mind of Jesus Christ, then there is power. We pull out power from the word of God. Because God is his word. Prayer is talking with God. Maybe it's a solemn request for help. Or even an expression of thanksgiving to God. You know, we go to God and uh, most times we need some things. Most times we want some things. Most times we just have a desire for some things. Yes. Because he's supplying everything. A lot of the needs and the wants we got, we really don't appreciate them, but God gave them to us. Yes. So in the midst of that, praying is talking to God, communicating with God, taking time with God. And as I said, an expression of thanksgiving. We have to tell God, thank you. Even when we wake up in the morning, before our feet hit the floor. Yes. Lord, thank you. I open my eyes this morning. That's a prayer. Yes. So, you know, we believe and we've been taught, we think. Prayer has to be big, long, fancy words. Come on, mother. Simple words. God, thank you. You woke me up this morning. Yes. Lord, the alarm didn't go off. But I'm awake. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm breathing, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As a prayer, it's nothing complicated about it. Nothing hard about it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There was no chaos broke off in my house in the middle of the night. I got no deadly phone calls or phone calls of somebody being rushed to the hospital in the middle of the night. That's a prayer because we are talking to God. Yes. We make it complicated. And sometimes we make it complicated because we really just don't want to do it. My, my. Help us, Jesus. We really just don't want to do it. Prayer is also a way of worship. Have you ever been in a place you're just praying? You're wooing God. You're telling God how good he is. How magnificent he is. How much you love him. Telling him thank you for all he's done in your life. How he's kept you. How he's kept your family. How he's kept your church family. How he is keeping this world. Yes, I said the world. Because the world is not under God. That's the world it. is under the principality. Because the world is not under God. So they are out there. So we still have to pray for the people in the world. Yes. The people that don't know Jesus Christ. Come on. We still have to pray for the people that don't know how to pray. Yes. They don't know what to pray. And sometimes we can just walk by people. We don't even know their situation or circumstances. Lord have mercy. That's a prayer. That's it. Sometimes I hear sorrows and things. We got to have compassion also. Come on, mother. Because Jesus Christ was a compassionate man. He walked this earth in compassion. His love walk was compassion for his people, for his creation, for his disciples. When we pray, we must have compassion. Yes. Yes, we got to have love. Yes. Because Jesus is love. So we got to have love. But if we just pray and saying words, God knows that. He knows it and he hears it. And it has no value to him. It has no value. Because it's like you're talking to somebody and they really not interested in what you're saying. They feel like you're just wasting my time. My Jesus. So we got to 
be very honest with God when we talk to Him. When we get into prayer, we get to speaking God's word. That word gets good to you. Can somebody say amen? Amen. I'm not the only one. Amen. Can somebody say amen? When I get to read the word and find myself in that word, and I'm praying, and then I read, and I find myself again, it breaks out into prayer and worship. I break out into a dance. But how many you know? It's still all prayer. Yes. We got to pray. Meditate on his word day in, day out. And not just that, but we must pray many by many. Because the enemy is always on his post. Mm -hmm. If it ain't nothing but look like I said, Lord have mercy. Lord, thank you for being my provider. Yes, we can make long, drawn out prayers with big words. But if it doesn't please God, if it's not in God's will, my God. When we pray, we got to be in the will of God. Yes. That's a must. Because when we pray and we say this and that, asking, asking, asking. We're out of the wheel. My Let's God. take time to ask God, Lord, what is your will? What do you want me to pray about today? Who do you want me to pray for? Lord, will you send somebody across my path when I go to the grocery store today? My Jesus. And let it be a true discernment from the courts of heaven that I need to pray for this person or either speak to them and give them a word of encouragement. And do it. Because the power of prayer is in the word. God is his word. So we can pray and we can worship. We can worship and we can pray. Yes. But that's what God wants us to do. Woe is me is not of God. My, my, my. Come on, teach us. Come on, teach us. That's it. I just don't like to be around a lot of confusion. That's it. Have you prayed? <laughs> what have you prayed about? Right. Did you tell God whatever the the chaos was? And yes, we must take ourselves out of certain situations. Yes, if chaos is there, Jesus Christ took himself out of chaos, so what makes us think we can't take ourselves out? Right. Love them and leave them. Right. That's it. And then, when we pray for people, the humanity in us, because we want people to know Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And it makes you feel some kind of way down the inside. And if you ask somebody, family member, friend, social, somebody you don't even know, may I pray for you? No, I'm good. Yeah. And sometimes it makes you feel kind of sinky inside. It has me. But God has helped me, and he's still helping me, to realize that if I see somebody in me, and God is showing me this person in me, it's not me or my prayer they're rejecting. It's the God. 
That's it. That's it. It's the God in me. So we have to find peace even in that. Have you thought about this? When we pray, we must know who we are. Mm, come on, mother. When we go before the Lord in the presence of our Creator, our Savior, do we know who we are when we go before Him? Do we know that we are royalty? Yes. Do we know that He has given us the authority in prayer? Mm -hmm. Do we know when we go to Him, do we know that we are the sons? Of the living God? Where's our mindset? What are we thinking? Well, I'm going to go to bed. I guess I better pray. Question. But when we get on our knees, do we get on our knees? Do we go into our secret place, our closet, knowing that we are sons of the true and living God? Do we really know that? Because when we pray, there are certain things we got to know. Yes. Why pray to God if we don't know who we are to Him? Mmm. What's the purpose? Somebody can text me, tap me, whatever. What's the purpose of going to God in prayer if we don't know who we are? We got to know who we are. And we must, again, have humility in prayer. Ask God for forgiveness. Be humility. Be in humility. Lord, I come to you in humility. I'm humble, God, before you because you're greater. You're my Savior. You're my King. You're the Redeemer of my soul. And even to go another step, Prayer is talking to God, communicating with God, relating to God. But there are times when we are praying, we need to just be quiet. Mm -hmm. Because he speaks to us. Yes. In prayer, sometimes we must just be quiet. And just say, God, I'm here. I don't know what else to say. Because if we just keep praying, just to be praying, just saying words that has no meaning, it has no value, and it means nothing to God. Right. So just shut it down. Lord, what do you want? You already know my needs. I've already spoken my needs. You know my desires. But Lord, I need your presence. So, dear Father, I'm just going to be here for a minute. And I'm asking you to speak to me, to give me something in my mindset that's going to help me change my life. That when my life is changed, I'm in prayer now. I'm in prayer. I'm talking to our Creator, our Heavenly Father. That when you change my mind, help me change. Help me, because we got to do some work, too. That's it. Lord, help me change my mindset. Yes. But then in our own mind, we got to do some work, too. Those thoughts, those images, the TV show, mm -hmm. the tiki talking. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Square somebody. 
Yes. Speak. I know who I am. Yes. And when you speak, you speak it with authority. Uh huh. Oh, who you think you are? Huh? I know who I am. I'm a child of the living God. That's it. Fed with power and authority. Not in fear. But if they come at you, come at us, we don't they. If they come at you like that, we have the right to stand up and say, I know who I am. That's it. With a smile on my face, I'm a child of the living God. And I was bought with a price of Jesus Christ's blood. I have been reconciled. Back to him. Back to my father. So I'm good. That's who I am. Who are you? Who's your daddy? Do your daddy require you to take time to talk to him? When we go into prayer, we kind of know who we are. Yes. Go into prayer saying, Lord, I thank you. I love you. Lord, you made me. You created me. I am co-creator. My words bring order. And Lord, I thank you. We talk, we pray. I am co-creator. Lord, thank you that my words bring order. So when we are in prayer or when we are taking a walk or wherever we may be, when we speak our words, we are creating. Yes. We are creating. That can be a, a very bad situation or atmosphere. If we just start speaking, mm -hmm. because you know who I am. I'm a son of the living God. Speak. And you could be the only one in there. Mm -hmm. But I am co-creator. Why? Because my father said that I'm co-creator. And I trust him. I believe him. He's never forsaken me. He's never left me alone. He said that he will be with me forever and always. Right. He said that if I call on his name, his name is Jesus. Come on. I create with my words. With my words. Yes. yes. What are we creating with our words? Be careful with our words. Mm -hmm. Our words are powerful. Yes. The power of prayer is our May series. Yes. The power of prayer. We're talking about power, prayer. Talking about. It was very sad, not too long ago. My family and I were together celebrating a graduation with one of my great nephews. I thank God I can say great. My God. Great nephew, celebrating with him in joy. And I was wondering what was going on, but they told me that after the graduation, they were going, he and another young man were going somewhere. But when they got there, he couldn't, for some reason, he didn't get in. But he didn't get in, and in the midst of that, his friend got shot dead. Jesus. Prayer works, y'all. Come on. Yes, it do, mother. I pray over them. Yes. I don't see them that often. But, Lord, the blood of Jesus. Come on. Lord, keep them. Lord, protect them. Yes. Lord, I don't know where they're at. I don't know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. But you know, 
That's the power of prayer. Yes. Nothing I did so mighty or great. Come on, mother. I take no credit from my creator. That's it. God gets all the glory. Yes. But if I'm going to speak this thing and say I'm co-creator. Come on. Got to, then I got to create We got stuff. to create. Yes, it. My great grands that are graduating, they shall live and not die. Yeah. That's, That's it. That's the word out right there. That's it. Yeah. And it shall not come back void. Come on. He's still here. Yeah. But prayer again. We got families. There's a young man that's gone. There's a young man gone over here. There's a young man gone over there. The enemy wants our men. Uh huh. And the devil is alive. Stand here as co creator. You can't have them. Come on, mother. I speak life and I speak life abundantly. Yes. God said that we shall live and not die. Yes. I'm speaking life into the atmosphere. So even saying that, I'm grateful that I still have my great grandson, great 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 nephew. But there are people that have lost loved ones mm -hmm. senselessly. Not out of just illness. All the people are dying from illness. But we pray for the ill. We pray for the homeless. And we pray for the young man that shot the young man. That's it. That's somebody's child too. Yes. So there's two families that two families that are hurting. And those two families are hurting with the connection of these other families that are hurting. Yes. The power of prayer. Lord, you said that you sent your creator. The comforter. I'm sorry. Lord, you sent the, your comforter. Lord, let your comforter comfort these people. Yes, come Lord, on. Lord, keep these people's minds and hearts. Because people be so hurt and broken, their minds will leave them. Yes, ma'am. Lord, men and their families, let this not be a separation of their family or the division of their family. Thank you, God, that you are our creator. Yes. Thank you, God, that we are co-creators of our work. Emphasis, Ephesians. I'm getting my words tied up, y'all. I'm not excited. I'm calm down. Lord, God, Lord, you speak. You speak, Lord, you speak, you speak. Ephesians 3, 20 and 21. I have doom in his power. Come on, Mo. Me too. So if I have doom in his power, what's my problem? Mm. That means I can slay some things and then never get back up because this is power from heaven. Mm -hmm. This is authority from heaven. Dynamite can't take this. Come on. Because we use God's words and it brings forth change. Yes, God's word says that there are things in this earth that will happen. But God's words cannot return void. So they got to happen. But his word also says, if my people which are called by my name. I said called by his name. Not pretenders, not imitators, but the real deal. Believing without a shadow of a doubt. Believers in Jesus Christ. Believe that he was born of a virgin Mary. Believe that he suffered, hallelujah, on the pastor's fire. Believe that he died. Yes. He, was, he hung on a cross. He was nailed to the cross. He was being bruised, battered. And then he was laid out for dead. Mm -hmm. So the enemy thought. He was laid out for dead. But even that was a purpose. That was a purpose in him getting up. 
So there's a purpose in our doing his power. Come on. He didn't do all that just so we could just walk around and <laughs> do nothing. Right. Say nothing. Right. Be nothing. Right. We are somebody. Yeah. We are sons of the living God. And he didn't just lay down and die. He willingly did it mm -hmm. for his creation. He willingly did it for the ones he loved. So therefore, as I said before, compassion. Uh huh. That was his compassion. So we got to have that same compassion. Mm -hmm. We got to pray for the people in the world that are creating havoc. Mm -hmm. We got to pray for them. Yeah. And the one that will create havoc, when our words, hallelujah, we create our words and speak them into the atmosphere, we don't know, we may never see them. But right. somebody's going to be saved. Somebody gonna, that's it. That's my belief. That's it. Somebody's going to give their life to Christ. Yes. Simply because I said that's it. it. That's it. Simply because God gave me the authority uh -huh. to speak through my mouth. Yes. Somebody in Columbus, Georgia. Somebody in Smith Station, Phoenix City. Come on. Somebody in this United States. Come on, Prophesy. Salvation is free. Yes. Talking about prayer. Pray for them. Pray these things over. Come on. Yes. President. Who is the president? Pray. Yeah, in ancient times, they prayed for a king. Yes. But it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Uh-huh. They're talking about elections and stuff. Better pray. Pray. But all at the same time, when we pray, we got to have that trust, that now That's faith, That's trust. It. We got to have that trust. No matter what, no matter who's president, I trust God. That's it. And we got to know our voice matters. Yes. Got to know that. Our voices matter. Very important. Our voice is heard. There are angels constantly waiting on us to speak as co creator to take those words to the heavenly court so that they can descend with an answer. And even as they descend, we wonder, well, why is taking this so long? Because the principality is going to start to stop it. But we never give up faith. Never give up. So we don't just pray for ourselves, our churches, the familiarity. There are people in jail, guilty and unguilty, who pray for them. Why? Because we have no hell in our hell. Mercy and grace is for all of us. It was his mercy that we are all sitting here today. And we are safe. Yes. Not just sitting here. We are sitting here and we are safe. And we thank God for this place. We thank God for every man, woman, hallelujah, even a child, God, because he said he was, he was going to speak. That is going forth and speaking life into other people. Yes. Prayer. Prayer is a personal experience. An intimate connection with our Heavenly Father and Creator. He wants a one-on-one -on -one sometimes. Sometimes we get too busy with everything and everybody. But there are times we need to just kind of shut it down and shut it off mm -hmm. and be intimate with him. Yes. 
And when I say intimate, just quiet. Turn the phones off. That's it. Off. Sometimes you may have to just sit there. Sometimes you may just have to get the Bible and say, Lord, what, what do you want to say to me out of these words? That's it. What is, what is it you want to say, God? God desires our prayers and wants our intimacy. He wants our intimacy. He wants our prayers. He desires them. Just like we have desire, God has desire. We should go to God and cling to Him. Mm. Just go to him and just, just Lord, just let me hold you. <laughs> Wrap your arms around yourself. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So Lord, just let me hold you. I love you. Cling to him with a realization that we are doing what he created us to do. Yes. And that's worship. Pray, honor him. John 10, John 10, verse 30. I think I have that correct. I and the Father are one. Jesus was never alone in prayer. Jesus was never alone in crowd. Jesus was not even alone on the cross. Come on, Jesus mother. was always in prayer. He was always communicating with his father. He was always praying. Always praying. He prayed for other people's healing. He prayed for his disciples. Because he knew that he was going to leave him. He prayed for himself. Jesus was a prayer. So why shouldn't we? My, my, my. He's the prime example of a prayer word. Mm -hmm. He's the prime example of an intercessor. That's it. Example. He's already got the path set for us. But we have to take our Bibles off of the table and under the chair. Come on now. <laughs> we got we gotta take our Bibles and dust them off. Because they're trying to take our Bibles away. Yes. Pray about it. Come on. Yes. Pray about it. Check out God. The devil is a thief. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he can't have our Bibles. That's a prayer. That's it. Now, I believe what I just said, God, because I'm co created My words just went into the atmosphere. My voice matters, and I believe you heard me. Come on. Come on, teach his mother. I and my father are one. Jesus Christ was never separated from his father. Even when he came and went into Mary's womb, he was still not separated. Right. They were still one. How can we, we cannot and we will not know God if we don't spend time with him. My Jesus, you don't say something. See, he know his he knew his father because he spent time with him. Day in and day out all the time. So he knew his father. He knew his father's desires. He knew his father's thoughts. And his father's thoughts and desires were his. Other than that, he wouldn't have been able to survive that cross. Because he gave it all to his father. He communed with him talk with him and he was honest with him. Pray in season, out of season. 
even when it's good, when it's bad, when it's hard, when you don't want to. And that's the best time, when you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Sit down and say something to the Father. Yeah. Because the enemy got something he blocked. Uh-huh. And then when we don't take that moment of time to sit down, I'm, I'm saying sit, just stand, you can walk, jog, whatever you need to do. Watch this. But talk to the Father. Yes. Communicate. That's bad. We cannot have a good relationship with other people if we don't have a good relationship with our father. Now you telling the truth. This is my friend over him. That's my friend over there. <laughs> but you don't talk to the Lord. No, you just sit right here. Let me go ahead and check on him. Mm-hmm. But when hell breaks into your house, where are you free? Right. Then we go to repentance. Lord, I was wrong. Forgive me. Come on. And he's willing to accept that repentance. But even in that repentance, we got to remember the next time. No. Y'all go ahead. Um, I to be honest with you. I got to go in here and pray. Come on. Got to make time. Well, you can do it later, but well, no, because uh uh, <laughs> it won't work like that. <laughs> it won't work like that. We put God off. Jesus, forgive we us. Put him off. We put him off. Remember, God knows our thoughts, words, desires, and our dreams. Mm -hmm. He knows all about. It. So why are we trying to manipulate him? Why are we trying to fool him? Why have we even lied to him? Jesus. Because when we make a vow, a vow is our word. Yep. A vow means that's it. But Jesus Christ has never to us. Jesus. He's always been faithful. And we want him to go and do it right now. Hurry up. Come on. Mm -hmm. But we haven't been in prayer. We haven't recognized who we are in Christ Jesus. Jesus. We don't know who we are. We're not trying to find out who we are. Mm. We have no interest. We have no interest. No interest. But God is interested in all of us. Yes, he is. His love is in leaps and bounds. His love is in leaps and found it never stops. Never stops. And when we pray, we got, as I said before, we got to trust. We got to trust. You know, um, this is Columbus. I live in Smith Station. But to get from Columbus to Smith Station or Phoenix City, I always have to cross a bridge. Always have to cross the bridge. And when I cross that bridge, majority of the time I say, oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. Because I can't swim. <laughs> I say, oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. That's the prayer of giving God glory. Because I have that bridge collapsed, I can't swim. But my point is, we get in our car, we turn that ignition, believing that car gonna start, and we put our fat, our gas feet on the gas, and then we drive off and go across that bridge. Mm -hmm. But we trust in that man-made car and that man-made bridge. 
Mm -hmm. to take us where we need to go. But that car and that bridge can fail, but Jesus never fails. That's it. It's impossible for him to fail. That's it. It's impossible for him to fail. But I think about that when I go across the street. That's what I thank him. We're putting our trust in man made, but our creator. We wouldn't have the man made if it wasn't for our creator. Right. The, the agape love. So let's take a leap of faith and pour out our heart to the lover of our soul. Have you ever thought about that? Lord, I'm just going to empty out right now because I got some stuff going on. And I really can't handle it. I've been trying to handle it. But I realize I have been trying to handle it out of your will. Trying to do things out of God's will. is a brick wall every time. Mm -hmm. okay. The word of God says lean not to your own understanding. I said, oh, trust God. Call on him. Call on the name of Jesus. Call on his name. And as we go through this time of praying, repentance is necessary. We ask, we thank. Repentance is necessary. In Jesus' name, we repent for our sins, known and unknown. Repentance is required in prayer. In our leap of faith, we must believe we are forgiven. And the accuser has no accusation. Unless we repent, the enemy is going to keep throwing stuff at us. And it's going to stick. And it's going to stay. Because we have not been gone before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and said, Lord, I repent. Lord, help me to change. Lord, I know I was, and admit, I, I knew what I was doing, but I did it. But I repent. And ways to pray. Do we know ways to pray? Do we know what to do? Some may know what to do. Some may not. And to be honest about it, some people really don't. And some people think they know how, and they don't. Because prayers are being prayed out of the will of God. Mm -hmm. Out of the will of God. So the Lord of Prayer is our instruction manual on how to pray. Yes. Go back and read it for yourself. Matthew 6, 6 to 13. Let it, let it speak to you. Pray it out loud. And go through the words and see what the words mean to you. opens your mind. And another, pray God's word. Yes. God does for us to speak his word in prayer. That's it. There are promises. Say it again. God loves for us to speak his word. There are promises yes. in his word. Get the dust off your Bibles. <laughs> Open them up. There, there, there's areas in the Bible where you can find what you need to look for. I'm saying that because I know we get our phones for everything. We don't, we don't forget how to use our Bible. We got the index, we got the concord, we got all that stuff in there. 
That's a way of wooing God, letting him know, I want your word, so let me, let me thumb through these pages. Mm -hmm. And I, what I love about the Bible is I can write. Yes. I can read a script and then I go in there and write what God has given me in some area near there. Or put it on some piece of paper and put it in that Bible. And when I go back and read it, I'm like, mm, okay, that's what he was saying at this time. God loves for us to speak to him. Yeah. God loves for us to communicate with him. But if we don't take time for him, how are we going to get his promises? Lord, give me, give me, give me, give me. I want, I want, I want. I'm just being honest. Sometimes I'll say, this is me. Sometimes I'll say to God, God, you see. Like God don't know what he said. But what I'm doing is I told him whatever scripture I was on or whatever situation I was in or whatever the need was or even what I was thanking him for. I was telling him, Lord, this is what your word said. So I'm giving it back to you. Because my word has fire. Because your word has God. So I give him his word back. God, you say it. I say it. You say it, God, you say it. And I trust you. I trust you. Um, I really want to get these two. Pray God's word. God's love for us. Speak his promises and his words. Okay, we'll give you a scripture. Matthew 7 and 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Knock and the door will be opened. To you. To who? You. To you. To me. To you. But there's something you gotta do. Thanks. You gotta talk to him. That's it. That's knocking. Seeking. It's Lord, okay, God, I'm, I'm going to listen for you now. But I'm looking for you. I, I just spoke your word, so I'm, I'm watching for something to mouth. Come on. And then again, once we do that, uh, too much is given, too much is required. Remember that. We're asking for give me, give me, give me. But when you give, there are some things that require repentance. Mm -hmm. Humility, change, long suffering, change. God is watching us. He sees us. He knows us. Family prayer. Do families pray together in the moment? My Jesus. Yeah, some families do. They pray together. They should do. But there's unity in family and family prayer. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, he will make your path straight. So I, I clean that one over my family because all my family ain't, they ain't saved. Come on. But I'm trusting God. And I like I don't understand. So I'm leaving it to him. Come on. But I still love him. Yeah. And I still love him and I still got to move on. That's it. Uh, corporate prayer. I like this one. Apostle will have shut in. And I love it. I'm not talking about shut in and you get a blanket and go to sleep in your room. <laughs> when we come to Sport and Shield on a shut in, everybody gonna be we shut in. <laughs> but we're shut in in the presence of God. Yes. In the presence of 
prayer, in the presence of worship, in the presence of a relationship with our Creator. Yes. And as there's no napping, there's no sleeping. Mm-mm. If it's a 12 hour shut in, be up there's hours. prayer going on 12 hours. There's worship going on. There's, there's some reading scriptures going on. And you ain't going to just read the scripture and sit down. You got to tell, well, what is the Lord saying? <laughs> Well, what's what the Lord saying? <laughs> and I like that. I love it. So shut in is, is you know, prayer. We pray. And in the midst of prayer, somebody, most of the time, gets delivered. <laughs> It's the serenity prayer. I keep it on my desk. Because there are times, lots of times, I don't know what to do. Sometimes I can't even pray. So I just go and I look at it. It says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Do we know we can we can accept the things we can't change? Jesus. Can we accept the things we cannot change? Sometimes we gotta let it go, let it go, let it go. Courage to change the things I can. That means we got to step out there. Because the enemy got something for you, because you're trying to be big and bad. But Jesus said that I'm his son. So get back. Get under my feet and move out my way. Courage. Facing pain, grief, illness, ability to do what frightens us. The enemy feeds off of our fear. So let's fight the fear. To change the things I can. And wisdom to do the thing. And wisdom to know the difference. Do we know the difference? We got to learn some stuff. Some things we can't change. True wisdom is to fear God. True wisdom is to fear God. Mm -hmm. Not that we can't go to Him or call Him or pray to Him. But true wisdom is reverence for God. Yes. The fear of God. And I'm not talking about fearing Him like you got to shake in your boots. To honor Him. Respect. To tell him thank you. Because the things he's doing in our lives, he don't have to. Right. Reverence. Reverence. And serenity. I'm going back to that. State of being calm, peaceful, and untroubled. How do we do that? Do anybody know how we do that? We get in God's word. We pray. And sometimes it just don't like, Lord, it ain't coming. I don't have no people. Well, you can make some stuff in, in us that we got to get out. Come on. That we don't have no people. It's not always the other person. Sometimes it's us. So I thank God for this opportunity. And this, I do pray that something I have said helps somebody. Just know prayer. The power of prayer. is all of Jesus Christ. And prayer is the word of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.